hello friends uh, in this video we will be talking about uh, chana see chana is it uh, chana is a heat and acid coagulated product although it is written acid coagulated uh, it it is more defined as a heat as an heat and acid coagulated rather than acid coagulated product however it is obtained by acid coagulation that is for sure okay so this is a product obtained when milk is coagulated using organic acid such as citric or lactic acid at higher temperature both of them are important see addition of organic acid and high temperature both of them simultaneously will result in curd uh, obtaining a curd which is called as chana okay see uh, as such uh, when we do when we take milk boil it and then add acid into it what happens we obtain a curd often called chana and whey now about 90 percent of the fat and protein from the milk is retained inside chana 50 percent of minerals uh, they appear in chana and 50 percent in whey and 10 percent of lactose only retains in chana so this fat protein mineral and lactose their migration or their partitioning is somewhat like this when we add acid uh, in case of heat and acid coagulated products their migration is like this 90 percent of fat and protein in chana 50 percent of mineral in chana and 10 percent of lactose in chana fine so usually we recover 52 to 61 percent of uh, milk solids in chana okay see uh, when we go for preparation as said earlier usually what we do we take milk we boil it uh, and then uh, after boiling we lower the temperature to say 70 to 80 degree centigrade depending upon the type of milk for chana preparation usually we keep 70 percent for 70 degree for buffalo and 80 degree for cow milk then we add acid usually citric acid is added at 1 percent solution and the amount of citric acid is say 2.5 grams per liter of milk Further, it is also important to note that both citric acid solution and milk they are at same temperature. So, a coagulation takes place at uh, to coagulate, when coag the, we are coagulating the milk, then milk as well as the citric acid or acidulant both of them are at same temperature. So, 70, 75, 80, but both of them should remain at the same temperature. Okay. So, obviously, when we add milk what uh, add acid into milk coagulation will take place uh, once once the coagulum is obtained you need to pass it through muslin cloth to uh, to collect the curd while whey is uh, utilized in some other way fine okay now see this was about a brief about chana coming towards rasagola see rasagola it is a chana based product uh, one thing that is important is see for chana preparation we will use cow milk and uh, the main reason for this is that cow milk contains less amount of calcium although casein is also important but we cannot modify casein to larger extent right uh, so calcium this is more responsible for giving chana okay see calcium it imparts hardness while chana it is soft calcium is important for paneer preparation for paneer we need a hard body which can sustain or which can resist breakage while in case of chana we often reshape it for example you can see the sagola preparation see chana is as such is a huge mass we need to portion it and then shape it this is what we are reshaping it fine so uh, we can reshape it when it is soft when it is hard obviously we cannot so that is why cow milk is preferred for chana preparation because it yields soft curd okay Although processing parameters are also there, but when we keep other thing constant, cow milk is preferred for chana preparation. Okay, so once the chana is obtained, we knead it into smooth paste. We often add sometimes a binding agent such as semolina or refined wheat flour and some amount of baking powder. Then we knead it, we shape it in the form of a ball and then we cook it. Cooking is usually done in sugar syrup say 50% bricks and this is for 14 to 15 minutes fine uh, once the cooking is done then we transfer it into a soaking solution fine uh, see stabilization is also important and which, uh, which gives a particular spongy texture fine uh, 
uh, see uh, again this is important to note that uh, usually see when we are cooking in sugar syrup moisture evaporation is taking place so we will find that after say 5 minutes or 10 minutes some uh, the sugar concentration has increased right uh, this should be avoided uh, ideally the sugar the ball should be cooked at 50 degree bricks okay so what you usually what we usually do is we add some amount of water regularly to maintain the concentration at 50 degree bricks okay so this is what is done uh, after the sugar after stabilization is done then we i mean keep it at for pack, uh, we package it in 50 degree bricks and then we store it so this is the procedure one important thing is sugar preparation or syrup preparation see usually uh, see when we are getting refined sugar it is costly okay so what we get we get we take normal sugar or unrefined sugar we take we add it into water uh, this is for preparation of sugar syrup okay we add it into water and let it boil once the sugar has sugar solution has boiled then we add some amount of milk this some amount of milk results in formation of scum because of impurities these impurities are then filtered out and the serum that is the syrup which is there it is used for uh, rasagola so rasagola cooking or rasagola soaking purpose when we do not follow this step obviously you will find uh, impurities in the product and this does not look nice okay uh, again another product is chana murki See chana murki in this case although it is said as it is chana murki but it is prepared from paneer okay why because we need hard body in this case so how chana murki is prepared in this case what we will do we take paneer we cut it in the form of cube chana see if it is hard chana then also no problem the point is that we need to the pro and the cube should withstand uh, withstand the pressure it should not disintegrate this is important okay so we cut it into one centimeter cube then we cook it in boiling sugar syrup in this case see here we do not know we do not want any uh, that clarification or sugar purification we simply prepare 60 degree or 65 degree brick solution and then we add this cubes into it and then we allow it to cook see what will happen when we continue to cook moisture will evaporate sugar will crystallize and it will form coating outside the chana cubes or paneer cubes okay so once uh, you will see that now no more moisture is there and the content con uh, the content shall start its sticking you remove it and transfer it into other tray okay see remove from fire and stirring continue till the sugar is crystallized so we transfer it into other tray and then we shake while cooling see shaking is important else what will happen the sugar uh, these sugar uh, these cube they have sugar and sugar will tend to stick with each other so we need to break it fine if we do not break it then large lumps will be there of these cubes so we need to break it so shaking along with cooling okay once it is 